One of the demonic tricks is to attempt to sow despondency in our hearts, to rob us of our hope in God's love and his mercy. Sometimes we can be so proud that we are shocked when we recognise that we've fallen, that we've sinned. We struggle in our desire to be with God, our desire to repent and be more like Christ. And yet all of us, we are not perfect. All of us as we struggle will fall. And the Church Fathers remind us each time we fall we must get back on our feet. This is the correct response to falling. Not to dwell, not to become so weighed down with despondency that we lose track of where we're heading. To get on our feet and repent and repent again. The demons want us to be so filled with pride that it comes as a great shock that we've sinned, that we've fallen. We're sinful creatures, we will fall, we are not yet perfected. When we look at Jesus entering Jerusalem that final time on Palm Sunday, Jesus knew full well that those crowds that cried Hosanna, those crowds that cheered his entry, in just a few days would be calling for his death. And yet at that moment, Jesus allows the crowds to proclaim him. We can't imagine what's going on at that moment in Jesus' heart. But he, he permits the crowds to cheer him, to cry Hosanna, knowing full well that they will sin and turn against him and reject him. St. Peter, Jesus warns, will deny him three times. Fear, the passions will overcome St. Peter. He denied Christ and then repented, proclaimed him. And in the power of the Holy Spirit, after Pentecost, went on even to give his life as a martyr. All of us will fall. We must not be so shocked, so broken by the thought of our sinfulness that despondency can grow there. It's a trick of the devil. We must always look to the mercy of God and when we have fallen, climb back to our feet, begin again, repent again, turn once again to the mercy of God.